We are here with Steve, the mean machine, Garcia, a fellow Steve. I respect that. Uh, he headlines uh, LFA 80 versus, uh, I think the guy's name is uh, Jose Mariscal. Mariscal. Uh, you're training out of uh, Jackson Week. Your, your camp has got a whole bunch of fights coming up. And uh, it all seems to uh, pretty much start with you at LFA 80. Why don't you go and talk to me about uh, your training camp leading up to this fight? Uh, it's been, it's honestly like been awesome just because all my other buddies, they're in their fight camps too. So we're all just pushing each other. It's awesome because like when I'm not saying that it really happens because we always have like really good bodies in here to kind of spar with and stuff. Um, but when everybody's in camp, everybody's bringing their A game and everybody's training, you know, for their, for their upcoming events. So, you know, I got a lot of buddies in here that have uh, big UFC fights and, um, they have Bellator fights and stuff like that. Some of them already fought, so it's it's you know it's been cool because we've all really been just sharing the mat and you know just you know tearing each other up you know piece by piece and then, you know being able to pick ourselves back up for the fight. Okay, and your opponent fights out of uh, kind of like a rival gym of yours, uh, Team Elevation. Uh, talk to me about uh, you know how that's been building over the last couple of years. Honestly, I don't really know too much about Elevation, but he trained here at Jackson for months from what everybody's telling me three or four months or something like that so uh i don't yeah i don't i don't, I don't know man i it can't be that bad if he if he's coming down here but then again you know he's, he came down here for three or four months and then he heads back and then they want to match us up and i'm like man i was like i didn't i didn't really know the guy very much so i wasn't too big on um uh, you know what what whether like wondering whether i should take it or not because i'm actually getting tired of kind of like having these matchups from people in my gym um, but you know, it is what it is. I'm trying to get somewhere and, uh, you got to walk through and take out some names along the way. And he's just, he's just another name. Yeah. And speaking of names on your resume, you got some good ones. You got Colum, you got Desmond, you got uh, some pretty experienced guys. Even early in your career, you were fighting guys with 30 plus fights. Uh, so it seems like you're definitely not trying to patch your record, which is, it's very good to hear. And then uh, you're also uh, taking this fight up a weight class, correct? Yeah. Oh, I actually decided to kind of move him away. You know, um, I, I fought I fought like 20, 25 uh, fights at 35. And, um, you know, I, I was pretty successful there. And, 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 you know, I thought I could do it. And uh, I was able to until this last one. This last one really did, did a toll on my body. And I wasn't even able to make the full... Uh, uh, bantamweight cut and it really affected me as far as you know mentally and all that stuff so um Dana wanted, wanted to see me at, at 145 so this is what I'm doing I'm going up to 45 and uh made a show that I'm, I'm game at 45 too so uh, that's where we at okay and and uh so the the cut was a little bit difficult have you been a were you able to get a test cut in for 45 uh I've, I mean 45s have always been pretty pretty easy I fought 45 I think three times and you know, I almost kind of treat it like it's a 35 pound cut, and uh, the weight comes off pretty good. So I did have to pack on a little bit more uh, like size and stuff just because I'm making that move up. So I'm 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 pretty interested to see like how well it's gonna uh, affect me uh, in the end. But you know, we're we're sitting we're sitting in a decent spot right now where my weight's at. So um, I'm excited about it. We got you know like oh, a little less than two weeks, but um, I feel good and strong so right now we're just tapering off working on speed working on game plan situational stuff and you know uh just get really just get prepared for uh, next friday and over at jackson wings they're uh actually pretty known well known for for their game plans now help some of my listeners and my viewers out on uh like kind of what what goes into these these game plans without giving too much away <laughs> Uh, it kind of depends, man. Um, what we what we really try to do is we try to exploit people's weaknesses while trying to favor like our our strengths uh, at the same time. And uh, a lot of times, like I mean, we have Greg Jackson, who is like one of the best game planners in the world. You know what I mean? So to have him in my corner, you know, and we're talking in and out, watching videos and and different things, it's really um, it's, I think it's definitely someone you want to have in your corner. And then when we have Coach Wink and, and, and Greg together, man, they're just 
one big master brain. It's crazy. And then um, everybody else around the gym, it's pretty cool here. But that's that's kind of the whole thing. We just don't go out there and just necessarily fight. Like sometimes they're like, all right, see, like, you know, this guy, you know, he, you, I've seen, you know, his style and you can, you can, you know, pretty much do whatever you want. Or there's times where like, all right, you're going to be, you're going to have to be disciplined with this, this and this. Um, and that's kind of what it really comes down to um, as far as not giving too much away. But yeah, I mean, that's, that's how it is. We just really want to exploit people's weaknesses and, and, and favor your, favor your strengths in the fight. Okay. And when you guys are getting ready for a camp, you say that you guys focus on uh, their weaknesses and your strengths, but going into the fight, is it more just about implementing that specific game plan or uh, is it kind of, do, do you kind of get some room to, to, you know, have some freedom on, on what you guys want to do? In that? Um, they normally give you a little bit of room, but like if, if it's like a necessary thing that you got to get from the get, like you need to do from the get go, it's, um it's known at the beginning of the fight you know what i mean it's like all right you got to be aware of this this and this so we got to make sure we're doing this you know what i mean and then yeah. uh, we just adjust it you know on the fly and, and we have codes that we use and um uh if something's not working then we go to you know almost like a plan b type of situation but um that, that's just kind of how you know fighting this is you know we're just always having to uh, adjust and, and adapt because you know as, as fights go on people get tired as fights go on you know, people get, you know, um, you know, they just they, they start finding the rhythms or they start uh, getting taken out of the rhythms. It's just there's just so much to it that you really just have to adjust on the fly, really. And uh, you're you in your professional career, uh, you've got a lot of knockouts and uh, your most recent one coming in the first round. But you have gone the distance before. So cardio isn't an issue. Is there a way that you uh, like a methodology that you prefer to end the fight? Or maybe there's something you want to prove to yourself in that camp that you want to get done. For me, I, I, every fight has been, I'm looking for the finish, always. I don't want to be that fighter that's like, all right, we're going to get by on points. Like, if we get by on points, we get by on points. But I'm, I'm always looking to make sure that if I can, you know, secure that win through, you know, a TKO or through a knockout or through, I, I mean, through sub two. But I, I'll pass on some sub uh, situations. You know, and in in today's in today's world of MMA, because it's it's you know it's grown so fast and the, just the popularity is insane. People, the way I see it is like people people like submissions, but people love knockouts. People want to see knockouts and and TKO. People and 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 I don't I don't I don't hate it. You know, I don't hate it at all. You know what I mean? I I prefer to knock people out. I love the feeling. Um, not that I'm like this crazy dude, but. You know, it's, uh, that's just, that's just, I mean, that's just my preference. And, um, you know, I've had in my amateur career, we had 14, 14 fights and I want to say 12 of them were all knockouts. And then I had two submissions and, you know, the, the, the crowd went crazy when I knocked people out. And, you know, when I, when I sub people, they're like, Oh, good job. You know what I mean? So I'm not looking for the good jobs. I'm looking for the hell yes. And, uh, yeah, you know what I mean. I want I want people just just making a ruckus. You know what I mean, and yeah. uh, really knockouts really do that. So I want to be that guy. You know what I mean. I want to be that guy. Like man, you know, he's coming to fight, bro. You know, he's gonna swing. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, Sorry. 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 I, I, I know that this uh, this guy thing uh, tends to have some uh, some issues. So. I just roll with the punches now. Definitely for sure. I'm, I'm a fan of both. You know, I'm a fan of a, uh, well, actually all three. I'm a fan of an exciting fight. And if it goes the distance, you know, sometimes you're like, man, I could use another round of that. You know what I mean? And then uh, you get the fights that uh, it's a quick knockout. You're like, Damn, that was sick. And then you get the subs and you know, a lot of people don't get excited about them. And it, 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 it speaks to the, the nature of the, the fan being that most of them don't really train most of them don't really know a whole lot they just want to see the blood that just bleeds of mma right so they want to see that knockout but that me personally me personally I, I like them all the only thing i don't want to see is a boring fight but it can also not be a slobber knocker it could be really technical and be really fun it Oops. could be a battle on the ground and it just be absolutely wild you know what i mean so for me 
uh, knockouts are great. Submissions are great. And, uh, you know, uh, decisions are, are, are good, too. I'm not one of those just believe guys. But I, de- I know that the fans definitely appreciate, appreciate the way that you approach fights. Well, the, the level of education on uh, on our sport is not quite like how boxing is. You know what I mean? Um, people, people, you know, people have seen the submission. Like, uh, let's say, let's go, let's go, I don't know, a couple years back where, like, my grandpa knew boxing, but he didn't know what MMA was. And it went to the ground, and I ended up, I ended up subbing the guy, and he thought I lost. You know what I mean? And they're like, what's he doing on the ground? Like, you know, get up, you know? So um, I do have to cater to him. I got to you know, so, uh, you know, like I said, if a submission is staring at me and it's, it's calling my name, of course, I'm going to get it. And, and I'll have a finish over a decision any day. I want to I want to I want to get get in there, do my job, win at any means necessary. And, you know, now I'm professional. So I got to, you know, get my check. Let's go on the next fight. You know, what, what's the next big thing? Because, you know, I'm trying to get into that UFC level. And, uh, you know, I fought I fought on big stages already. And, and I think that UFC is next. Yeah, that's, that was actually leading into my next question because you have fights at Bellator. LFA is a really good launching pad for the UFC. You fight on Dana White's contender series, getting a first-round knockout, but with the mishap, uh, Dana wanted to see you move up, and here we are. There's got to be a lot of eyeballs on Mean Machine right now heading into this main event, man. So let's just say everything goes your way. We get the win. We get the KO. What are you calling for when that mic is put in your mug? Uh, to be honest, I'm I'm obviously call, calling for UFC. Like I'm kind of like not taking anything else besides the UFC. Um, I was supposed to have a matchup with uh, Billy Cortillo uh, at, at UFC Washington, and they they actually called me to go, but I was on I was on my honeymoon uh, in the Bahamas on a like a congratulations, but damn. <laughs> so it, it hurt me that I couldn't take the fight, you know, and. Um, you know, leaving leaving the Bahamas to go train and having to worry about cutting weight when I was I hadn't been training at all, just enjoying myself and stuff. So that's kind of why I just wasn't really. Um, I was disappointed I couldn't take the fight, but you know, I just don't want to go in there and embarrass myself. I'm not going to do that. I want to be prepared um, for for someone, especially to his caliber. So um, he's de- he's definitely a tough fighter. So I'm like, hey man, let's 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 ring that let's ring that matchup back up and. Um, Maybe we can do because we're ranchos. Uh, UFC Rear Ranchos coming back to uh, uh, the Santa Ana Star Center in February, uh, mid February. So I'm like, let's do that. Or I don't care. You know, this this is matched up. That's a good fight. It's a fun fight. I like that. Fight. That's a that's a tough fight. Billy's yeah. good, man. Billy's really good. I like that. Yeah. I actually like that matchup a lot, man. Yeah. So we're we're calling for the UFC, and uh, it seems like the matchup is Billy. So I'm really hoping you got that, but. Let's talk about the, the opponent at hand, right? This uh, Mari Skull guy. And forgive my uh, pronunciation. I'm not, uh, I'm not very good at it. <laughs> Chepe, I think. Yeah, there you go, Chepe. That's a little bit easier for a gringo like me. But uh, how do you see this fight playing out? You know what? I, it, 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 it can go out two ways, okay? He he's so he's so um, aggressive, and he's so all about pressure. He throws everything with a hundred percent power. Um, I don't know who can really throw hundred percent power with, with for a whole fifteen minutes. It's kind of rare. Um, so I see it playing two ways. It's either going to end quickly, or it's going to be just a just a three round, just straight out, just brawl. It's what it's going to be. You know, just a stand and bang, a lot of just up, up, down, just a lot of chaotic stuff going on in that cage. So it just kind of depends on on how how aggressive he is because, you know, I fought I fought plenty of aggressive people, a lot of wrestlers, a lot of people that just want to just throw down, and normally I'll catch you, I'll catch you with something, and I'll 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 put a setback somewhere, you know, in your game, and I'll make you think twice. And so, in my head, of course, like I, I plan on winning this fight. You know, I don't train to be second. So I'm going out there, and I'm going to go out and, and look for that KO. If the KO doesn't come, I'm just going to put it on him till I can break him or till you know, that 15-minute mark is just up, and, you know, I got to get my hand raised that way. So I don't really care how it works out. I mean, I train, I train for five-minute rounds or five five-minute rounds uh, all the time, and that's the reason why, like, I have a good gas tank is because of that. And um, I, I think this one's a three-rounder, too. So, I mean, it gives me even more of a, 
uh, more, I guess, conditioning to play with. You know, so I know he's he's I'm not trying to, you know, take take anything away from him. He's really, really uh tough. He's he's good. Um I just feel like he kind of covers up his his technical struggles with pressure and with um you know the the the, the amount of power he uses in each shot. Just because I don't think he's as technical as maybe you know, someone that I've I've you know fought before, you know. Yeah, yeah, I got you. Okay, and uh, so we're we're predicting uh, a KO or a war, which I'll take either or. I ain't picky. I ain't picky. Uh, and let's say the UFC doesn't come a knock. Do you think uh, maybe an LFA title shot could be in your future if that's not the case? Uh, I'm not. I don't want to say nothing's not possible. Um, at this point in my career, at at how many years I've I've had you know, training and fighting and stuff like that. I need to start, I need to start making some money in these, yeah. in these fights. You know what I mean? And, um, I mean, unless they want to pay me, you know, a, a little bit better than just a normal average fight, then, you know, we can definitely talk about it. But, um, yeah, man, I'm definitely, I think the, with the management team that I have and the performances I've been able to, to stream together, especially my last three, three have been, uh, two being a knockout. Uh, and then the last, the, the first one was the able column and that one was just a bloodbath. And they yeah. should have just—they should have stopped that in the third. But hey, man, I mean, you get—you get a five-round bloodbath. You don't like that either. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So, um, the way I'm heading, it's—it's—it's it's, it's definitely, I think, down that path. And uh, you know, and I—that's kind of—I'm not saying I won't take anything less. I just need—I need a good opportunity. You know, you—you know—give me something and put something in front of me that I'm—I'm I'm gonna want to bite on. And uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much it. I, I mean, I can't argue with your body of work here. You, you've been putting in work. Uh, have you transitioned to to full time uh, training, or are you still working a, a day job? No, nah, man, I, I still have a day job. Um, I do uh, I do uh, accounting for an insurance company called uh, Streamline Insurance. So uh, I, you know, they they're so you know really uh, flexible with me as far as my schedule. They're just like Steve, get get you know what to do, get your job in, like do your work. And, uh, you know, we'll let you keep doing it the moment, you know, you don't do it then you know, we'll have some issues, but I've never had an issue. I've worked with them since I was 19 and I'm 27 now. So, um, they trust me and I, you know, make sure that I, I get all my work done and, uh, you know, I don't, it sucks because I don't spend time with my family or, or, uh, the, 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 the time to rest. I don't really have the time to rest like how a lot of people do, but that's the sacrifices that you, that you have to make to, to get anywhere really, you know what I mean? So. I'm I'm aware of that, and I know the profession I, p- I picked, and uh, you know, I I just gotta live with it. You know what I mean. So now we gotta start making some money. You know what I mean. I gotta start paying off some of these bills so I can just offset it. You know, so I can I can really show you 100%. You know, of the full 100% commitment of, of Steve Garcia, not not the 100% of and and, and Steve having a job. You know, because I you know I I pretty much train till 11 o'clock to make up. For, for the times that I know my other buddies are training or just anything. So um, mm-hmm. I, I do whatever it takes. I do whatever it takes. Damn, that's, that's impressive. I, I, I think it's, uh, it speaks volumes and you got to fucking give the respect when fighters are out here, you know, putting on the performances that you're putting on while still working a full-time job, you know, trying to keep the uh, things afloat with the family and stuff like that. I mean, that's, I just got a tremendous amount of respect for fighters in your position because i mean you may not be the only one but you're the one that's going through it you know what i mean not not me so i mean i know it's it's different for a guy covering media than playing media but i mean or playing media uh, than fighting you know what i mean so there, there's there's uh, like a certain uh, kind of like uh how do you say it like i have a like a mutual like kind of situation going on you know, because I got to put the time in to, to reach out to your fighters and, and do my thing over here. So I kind of understand it a little bit, but I don't I don't ever have to get my ass kicked. So, <laughs> yeah, man, you know what you I mean? Did, did a good spot to me. Oh, that's, a, that's, a, that's a pretty cool <laughs> spot. <laughs> right. You know? Well, hey, I, I've, I've had a couple amateur fights, but uh, I broke my foot a few years back. So I don't know. I'm kind of uh, I'm I'm I'm. I'm teetering between you know do i want to do it again or you know is ice cream just that good you know what i'm saying 
that's that'll get you, man. The food, the food is a is a big turn, you know, turner. So yeah. if you if you can if you can stay disciplined, then you know that's that's what's that's what's up. You know what I mean? But yeah, man, I just you know I I got I got a lot of writing on 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 me right now. You know I can go get a job. I you know I've I I've, I've always had it in my mind I can do anything that I put my mind to, and I know it's cliche, but if I say I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna get it done, and it's gonna get done. You know what I mean? But I can I can go get me an education, make you know X amount of money, have security, stuff like that. But you know this this is this is what I want to do. You know what I mean? I'm I'm a professional fi- fighter, I'm a professional athlete, and I want to provide for my family that way. I got a baby on the way. I you know I got a little girl. Congratulations! And stuff. Thank you, thank you. So you know they they. They, they need that good life, too. You know what I mean? So I'm going to try to give it to them. Well, that's like, again, you just get, you're getting all the respect, man. You're getting all the respect. I can't give you any more. I promise. I promise, man. It's very commendable what you're doing. And uh, that's kind of like why I like doing these interviews. You know, if I'm not going to fight, I might as well be connected to sports somehow. And, you know, yeah. you, you as fighters, your stories need to be heard. And then, you know what? It's the same mundane fucking questions that everybody asks. I understand that. You know what I mean? I try to make it a little bit funnier and make some stupid faces while I'm on camera so somebody laughs. You know no, what no, I mean? Because honestly, it's like you said, like I've answered like the same questions over and over again. So when you change it up a little bit, it makes it that much more like funner and, and interesting. And it just I just a good interview. I always like those interviews. Oh, uh, yeah. So real quick, are you a foodie? I'm sorry? Are you a foodie? Oh, you like dude, food? You have no clue how much I love food, man. I'm from it's New Mexico. It's kind of my favorite question, and it's my favorite topic. So let's go ahead and breach this topic of food. Okay, what is the post-fight celebration meal? Post-fights, uh, it depends on what's open. So it depends on what's open. But normally, if I'm here, if I'm here in Albuquerque, we always go to the Frontier. Uh, the Frontier is off of, like, UNM, like the campus. And I always get me a, a green chili double bacon cheeseburger from there. And uh, the fries, everything is all New Mexican. And then because my mom, after every fight, you know, she makes me like a like a victory meal or just, you know, a fight meal, whatever. Uh, she always makes me uh, uh, stuffed sopapillas. So if you never had a stuffed sopapilla, come to New Mexico, come try one, and they change your life. Mm, I like life-changing food. I mean, I like food, but life-changing food, it's the life-changing. best. Yeah. It's Have the you best. ever had a sopapilla? No, not, not stuffed. I don't even know what that is. You don't know what sopapilla is? Oh man, you gotta come to New Mexico, man. Uh, there's a, they, in, almost any place here that's like a Spanish food. You go to Sadie's, you go to anywhere place like that. They're gonna have sopapillas, man. And some people they'll put like they, they'll turn into dessert, but you put honey on it, man. It's just it's like a pillow. That's what it is. Just like a like a pillow, like a bread pillow. And yeah. man, and then you put meat, cheese, and and all, oh, bro. Yeah. It's it's good stuff. I'll tell you what, it's good stuff. And then you well, just you just like, you a little bit more of that. I said 45 affords you a little bit more of that. <laughs> yeah, a little, <laughs> little bit. But you see, I'm, I'm a big uh, green chili uh, eater, you know what I mean? So I, dr- I drench it in green chili. So, um, well, you picked the right state. I was born here. So that's why, I mean, that's, that's my heritage, man. <laughs> yeah, that's what's up. Yeah. So that's what that's what I uh, that's what I grew up on, and that's what that's what I I love. I lo- it just tastes good. And then who doesn't like tacos and pizza and oh. and, and all those other stuff too? Wow. We have Dion's here. We have Pizza Hut. All stuff. We, I go. I'll I'll go to town. Wingstop. I love Wingstop. You know what I mean. So uh, anywhere has a good you know French fries and some, some wings or a good burger. I'm 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 all about it for sure. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. See, that's why the food's my favorite topic. What's that? Cheers. What's your favorite? Uh, food? Me. Let's see. I'm a big pizza guy. I'm a big burger guy. Uh, you get me a good ribeye. I'm pretty okay. good with that. I'm right. pretty good with that. Uh, we got a steakhouse out here. I, I, they probably changed their name like three or four times, but they got a pretty good steak. Um, and then Longhorn, it's a it's a steakhouse franchise. They got these stuffed fucking mushrooms with this Parmesan shit on top. Woo! Oh, my goodness. I literally will go there, just order those things, eat them, and leave. I don't give a fuck about nothing else. I'll just get the appetizer and I'll get I got you. That's why I'm with uh like uh what do you call it? like Texas Roadhouse, man. I can eat anything off that menu and I'm like, I'm good. I'm good. You know, I I feel you on that. Yeah. We have a long house here too. I, I think I need to try the, the stuffed mushrooms. They're good, man. Uh, just like that. 
I'll do the game break. Uh, uh, on that shit, man. They're that good. They're that good. All right. After this fight, after this fight, I'm gonna go give me some stuffed mushrooms from Longhorn. Hey, that's what's up. Maybe pick up a. Uh, uh, let's see. What do they got over there? They have. Uh, they got some like uh, this this garlic stuff. Basically, the shit they put on the mushrooms. Order that shit on your steak. Okay. All right. Yeah, just the Parmesan crust. They tell me. Anything you get, Parmesan crust, everything. Parmesan it? All right. I got to try it. Because I, I don't know if I was the biggest fan of their steak, but I've only had one. So I need to try it again. That was a long time ago, too. So I'm, That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Smother it. Smother, Smother that shit. Yeah. Done. Done. All right, man. Well, uh, I'll, I'll look out for that text message when you call or when you, you say, hey, those mushrooms are bomb and the steak, that's the only way to have it when you go there. So I'll look for that after the fight, after the yeah, win here. Okay. Text. And then hopefully, hopefully, uh, after the win, we get the call from the UFC. If not, uh, uh, just a better opportunity. I want to see you get paid. You've been putting in the work. Uh, yeah. You gave me one hell of an interview. This has been a lot of fun. I can't wait to fucking do it again. I can't yeah. wait to do it again, and hopefully my white ass will get out to New Mexico, and you can show me some shit. Come on down. I'll show you some places. You yeah, might, you might and, gain uh, some, oh, no, you might, you might gain a couple pounds. So. Yeah, well, <laughs> afterwards, we can go into the gym and get a session, and you can beat the shit out of me. How about that? Let's go. Let's go. Bring some <laughs> chin guards, a mountain piece, and you're good. Just come on in. I have Perfect. all of that. I'm not sure if it all still fits, but I got all of that. We'll make it work. We'll make it work. Don't worry about it. We'll figure it but out. But hey, man, I want to thank you for your time. This has been a blast. Can't wait to do it again. Uh, Steve, the Mean Machine, Garcia uh, Jr. I don't know if that's uh, okay. I would put that in there if, if that's the way it needs to be done. But uh, 10 and 3 overall, headlining LFA 80 over at, uh, where is this one taking place at? It's at Route 66 Casino. There you go. There you go. Uh, main event. This is uh, this is a pretty good fight, man. So it's gonna be, good. It's, it's gonna be fireworks. So stop what you're fucking doing. Get on the UFC fight pass. You know this is huge, man. This is huge. Yeah. This is gonna be a really big turning point for your career. I know that uh, the bald man's eyes are gonna be on you. So uh, it's time to show up and impress, man. Good luck. Let's come do it for him. I'll do it for him. There we I'll make go. him. I need that guy. That's what I want. That's what I want. So, yeah, absolutely. I'm excited. Um, yeah, man. Just, you know, follow me on my social media and, you know, yeah, I'll pop different stuff like that uh, for just leading up to the fight. And uh, where are we going? Me Machine 505. Come at me. There we go. There we go. All right, man. Dude, it's been a pleasure. It's been a blast. And now I got to start planning my trip to New Mexico. <laughs> you got to do it. You got to do it. All right, brother. Well, you have yourself a great night, and uh, good luck on the fight, uh, and we'll talk soon, okay? All right. You have you take care, man. Have a good one. All right. Later. Bye.